Mr. Chair. Um, Coach Reed, well, I mean, tonight was a big night uh, for us, you know, 20th John Mayer Classic. Uh, you know, we, we talked about it going into the game, how much this game meant, you know, just to get started off on the right foot. And with it being the John Mayer Classic, uh, it was great. And uh, I, somebody brought it to my attention, but it was uh, a heck of a way to get a 50th win on, uh, you know, John Mayer Classic. And I just wish, you know, this was a day that my dad passed away on about nine years ago. So it makes it uh, extra special. It is. I mean, we compete every day. All these guys on here, you saw, you know, not just them. How many running backs did you see tonight? How many wide receivers did you see in the game? Uh, we've assembled some talent on this football team, and, you know, we want to push each other from week to week, and we want to make sure that we get better. I think one, when you got that kind of competition, it just pushes that other guy to get better. You know, Demery struggled the first couple of series. Mike came in and moved the football team uh, very efficiently. I was really proud of him, you know, being prepared and able to come in and do that. So, uh, well, you can leave the quarterback controversy stuff, uh, uh, you know, under the pillow because those guys will see plenty of action, you know, all year long. We know what we have in both of those guys. So are you pleased with both of them? Absolutely, absolutely. You know, Denver was a little rusty starting off, but he came in and completed some big passes there in the second half and did some good things. And Michael was efficient all night. Absolutely. I thought the first half, I think we played with maybe three penalties, maybe four. And I think the second half, you know, we put ourselves behind the chains with some pre-snap penalties, you know, flinching, jumping off sides. You know, those are things that happened in the first game. Uh, hopefully we can clean those things up. They say you make your biggest jump between the first and second game. So hopefully we'll make a huge jump and we're able to clean up a lot of those pre-snap penalties. I was real proud of our defense. You know, anytime you can hold the team to, uh, you know, three points, you've done a heck of a job defensively. We created turnovers all night long. Uh, you know, we kept them in second and third and long. We were really good uh, on third downs. So I think they were two of something on third downs. And we were uh, over 50% on third downs on offense. So if you can keep the chains moving and stop them from moving the chains, you give yourself a great opportunity to win football games. Absolutely. We got some explosive guys. You know, you can see it from the running backs. Uh, you can see it from this guy over here on my left. Uh, you know, you know, you can see it from Stephen Nouveau, Javon Johnson. We got plenty of guys uh, that can make big plays. And there's a couple of guys that didn't play very much tonight, still kind of grasped the offense a little bit. Uh, as we move on in the season, uh, hopefully they'll get more involved in the offense. That we played by committee. You know, we didn't know who that guy was going to be. You know, when you lose a guy like Chris Collins, you know, you lose guys in the secondary like Terrell Bonds. Uh, we lost a lot of guys. You know, Blair over here is a senior over there. You know, he's played a lot of football. He stepped up tonight, and uh, he answered a lot of questions. He had a huge game tonight. So I'm really proud of him. Chris, can you please talk about uh, the fact that uh, you were used quite a bit uh, in all aspects of the game, punt return, running a couple times, as well as uh, pulling in about 150 yards receiving? Uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah, uh, uh, Coach Parker's doing a great job, you know, affili affiliating me into the offense. And, you know, I took it upon myself to prepare myself this offseason, get ready, you know. Coming up, coming up before spring, and he told me it's my time, and I got to get ready to go and get in good shape and, you know, just be out there and be ready to make a play, you know. And he's done a good job with the guys, you know. Everybody's doing their part and stuff. It wasn't just me out there, you know, making plays. It was people around me, and, you know, so. Uh, we did a good job preparing for that. You know, I, you know, I can only thank God for what I did tonight. So. Was it Jefferson catching from uh, either quarterback? No, each quarterback is point point. So I can uh, really say, you know, there really wasn't a hiccup in the offense. You know, you know, it's like our offense is pretty much like a Ferrari. You know, if you don't strip the gears and all this and that, <laughs> you put it in drive, you keep we gonna be straight. And that's how I feel when each quarterback. You know, when I saw Mike come in, it's like, oh no, we gonna be straight. Denver back in, we good. So, you know, there isn't really, really much worry on the outside part of uh, the offense. Chris, uh, Coach alluded to it a little bit earlier, using a lot of different uh, uh, weapons there, a lot of receivers uh, catching the ball, a lot of running backs touching the ball. You guys went for over 525 yards, or you went for 525 yards tonight, total offense. What's that say about the offense? <laughs> 
And we're right where we need to be, you know. Uh, start, like Coach Reed says, we got to start fast. But, you know, finish strong how we've been doing. And, you know, that's uh, pretty outstanding. 525 yards, you know, that's – you can't ask for more. And, you know, we did a great job. I can. <laughs> <laughs> we did a great job, all parts of the ball, running the football, running backs, receivers out there, catching the ball. You know, Treon Harris, he, I see that he stepped up too. He's one of the guys – that made a switch, a position change, and you know, it's just everybody's doing their part. That's what all you can ask for guys to do their job. If you do your job, you're gonna make plays. Coach, uh, last year I remember talking to you earlier. You said this was a pretty hard night last year. So you got the first one, uh, homecoming. I guess the uh, Southern Heritage. Are you confident about this season now? I mean, it's just one game. I, that's what I just told him in the locker room. This is just the first game. You know, we got to come back and we got to prepare. I'm sure Jackson State uh, is going to have a great game plan. You know, we play in the Southern Heritage Classic. We won that game in on the last second uh, missed field goal last year. So they're going to come to play. That's Jackson State, Tennessee State. It's the Southern Heritage Classic. You know, the records can go out of the window. I don't care how they play, play tonight. You know, I don't care how they played last week or how they practiced yesterday. When Jackson State and Tennessee State touch the field, it's going to be a barn burner. So we got to go back and we got to prepare ourselves. Blair, can you talk a little bit about the defense? You guys were all over the place and kind of like the offense where a lot of you guys uh, sharing, uh, sharing the responsibility. Uh, yeah, well, our first plan was to go out there and attack. We just wanted to play aggressive and just have fun out there on the field. And that was about it. Now, uh, you guys did not give up a uh, third down conversion until about uh, – uh, 13 minutes uh, remaining in the fourth quarter. Uh, kind of talk about the mentality of the defense, uh, shutting them down on third downs and the times they went for it on the court. Well, Coach Fish, our defense coordinator, he put a lot of emphasis on us, make, not, not turning over the ball or not giving turnovers. But um, that's, yeah, that's it. What, how do you feel about your, uh, your performance tonight, and uh, where does the team go to get better? Uh, I feel like my performance was, performance was good, but I feel like I could have done better. Um, I'm, worse, I'm my worst critic at times, so I feel like I could have done way better. The quarterback seemed to give you a little problems at, in the first quarter, but uh, you seemed to contain him pretty well after a few plays in the first quarter. How much of a uh, problem was he in the initial? I don't feel like he was a big problem at all. I feel the like. Shiftiness was it? Oh, no, sir, not at all. We just busted some assignments. Anytime you bust assignment and lose contain, you know, stuff like that happens. We allowed him to get out of the pocket. I mean, we were, should have been in position there to make a play. But, I mean, he, we knew he was an athlete. We knew that, that uh, he could do things like that if we didn't contain him. So we tried to make him step up in the middle of the offense, uh, you know, and that's what we did pretty much in the second half. Absolutely. Thanks, guys. All right. Thanks.